Congratulations! Today is your day. You're off to great places. You're off and away. You have brains in your head. You have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself any direction you choose. You're on your own, and you know what you know. And you are the guy who'll decide where to go. Hello, my name is Kate Jacobs, and today I'll be talking to you about my teaching philosophy. By being a pre service teacher, I have adopted the belief that it is my responsibility to ensure I make my classroom a safe and positive space, welcoming to all students. To do this, I have developed a strong educational philosophy based off what I believe to be the most important educational philosophers known, John Dewey, Pat Thompson and Bell Hooks. Each of these philosophers demonstrate unique views on how a healthy educational experience should be, and together, I believe I'll be able to make my classroom the best place to be. John Dewey once said, training is psychological when stress is laid upon correcting wrongdoing instead of form forming habits of positive service. John Dewey describes schools as social institutions where a teacher's actions by focusing on negative behaviour and attributes rather than the positive can harmfully affect a student's learning. More so, Dewey realises that schools can be home to bullying and favouritism due to many different factors. Therefore, within my classroom, I hope to be able to ignore society's limited views on socialisation and rather become an agent of socialisation, promoting inclusivity and rejecting social norms and stereotypes. With this, I believe I will be able to understand each of my students' different situations. Pat Thompson developed the theory of a student's virtual backpack. Every day, the same children turn up to school ready to learn. However, they never just turn up with their paper and pens. A student's virtual backpack relates to the things that makes each child in your class different. Socioeconomic status, gender, family orientation, ethnicity and cultural diversity are all aspects of a child's life that I have the ability to not be aware of. However, my teaching philosophy is based on the principle that all students should be treated equally and fairly without judgment, which is why I will make it a priority of mine to learn about the students, learn about my students' home life as well as their schooling life. I will use a mixture of both transformative and traditional texts to promote different and unique qualities within my classroom to make sure every student feels comfortable and happy. As different home lives become more and more common, within this day and age, it is my responsibility to make sure that I am teaching my students is current and appropriate. Bell Hooks once wrote, all too often we think of community in terms of being with folks like ourselves, the same class, same race, same ethnicity, same social standing and the like. I think we need to be wary. We need to work against the danger of evoking something that we don't challenge ourselves to actually practice. I believe my classroom will be able to take into account different backgrounds, but also promote the discussion of such topics. For my students to truly feel comfortable with this philosophy, I must demonstrate that I also practice what I teach. Therefore, my classroom will be a, a safe place for questions and research without judgment. Right now you must be wondering why I showed you a clip of Dr Seuss's Oh The Places You'll Go. Like many of you, Dr Seuss was a staple throughout my childhood. With different witty rhymes and unique phrases, he inspired me to be the person I am today. Oh The Places You'll Go teaches the reader to never give up and use your gut feeling to make decisions you feel are right. More so, it taught me to each step you take takes you the next step closer to what you want. This is my first look at my teaching philosophy and what I think it will be. However, it won't be my last. Each step I take throughout my course will take me one step closer to being the teacher I can imagine in my mind, where I hope I will have the ability to inspire, enrich and engage my students in a safe, positive and healthy learning environment. I hope that all my future students will feel that they have the ability to go anywhere they want in the future by my constant unwavering encouragement. 
Thank you.